Hey guys, I'm Tim, and this is Flipper Flicks, and if you like our next movie, then you'll like to live your life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> See, he didn't butcher it. Yeah, I didn't butcher good. it. That was beautiful. <laughs> I thought you did spectacularly. Yeah. Can't Talk wait for people for to be like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I said all my stuff. <laughs> did he, though? Did he say the one part that I am... Yeah. About, he said his I name? said my name. I said yeah. our yeah. name. <laughs> checklist. Go so I'm Adam. Um, we're Flipper Flicks, like he, Tim said. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just repeat. Are you sure? Adam's and checklist is repeat what the first person yeah, it said. Is. That's his yeah. first bullet point. <laughs> yeah, it is. I lo- um, but I don't have a um, note list. Yeah. The, all that being said, we are on Instagram some days. All it's right. at Flipper Flicks and on Twitter. Same story. Same handle. We're real fancy. Or Lucky, I guess, maybe? I'd say Lucky. Sure. I don't even know if we changed the logo on Twitter. That's how active <laughs> we are on that. <laughs> yeah, did you guys notice that our logo is the same as our old one on Discord? No. Is it? Yeah. Noise. I don't know if I'm going to change it. Anyways, uh, we also have a website. It's flippyflicks.com where you can recommend movies for us and kind of get to know some of our categories because we do a weird category wheel. It's not weird. It's awesome. Does that have the new logo? That does. Or is that rock and vintage flipper flicks? That's not rock and vintage. Vin- vintage is on maybe our old website. Okay. If that still exists, floats out there somewhere. It probably is. Um, but we release episodes at 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. You can catch us on any of the podcasting platforms. Uh, feel free to rate us there. Apple Podcasts is a good one. They, that seems to be where people go right now for their ratings. We're a five star podcast. Well, don't put that in their head. They can they can rate us what they want, but yeah, five star, five star, uh, five star man. Uh, do, 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 I'm trying I to like think. How I can just drop sunny quotes, and then you guys have to like, you just like well, we, we get like, it's itch. Like a I can't reaction. like God. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> it's like one of our friends. If you usually like say the first line of like a catchy song, mm-hmm. she will go out and just start singing all of it. So when we would walk around with her in public places, I would say like the. First line of any song, like, that's popular. It was horrible. It was hilarious. <laughs> anyway. Going on. What were you saying? You're up. <laughs> I hope you are mid-train of thought. Nope. Uh, I'm Sam. Hi. Yeah, she is. Whoa. Sometimes. And this week, Adam gave me the rum da- run da- the rum rum down. down? The, the rum, rum down. down. The rum down. The rum down. Rum ham. Yeah. Uh... Of what happened a couple weeks ago, but I'm still trying to remember it. So, mm. we got HBO Max. This is pick three. Yeah. And somebody picked fantasy and sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Raise your hand. Who did that? Tim and I both raised our hand at the same time. Oh, you guys both picked it together? We don't remember. Uh, okay. Yes. Tim- <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I, I don't know <laughs> if Tim doesn't remember, but I'm going to guess that no, I, I, I think yeah. I picked HBO Max. Yeah. That sounds right. Because I mean, of I guess the you... specific movie we were discussing before. You're yeah. right, and I picked fantasy and sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to try and hit it. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. And I guess you could just listen to the last episode to figure out how we got here. But <laughs> you know, it's fine. We like to give you the rundown anyway. And then I picked a number. One hundred twenty-three. Oh yeah, because I wanted to make them count like a really long <laughs> down on the list. Well, you and were surprise- also jokingly trying to hit the number too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, that only got me to H. Like, yeah. But there's a lot of movies, if you think about it. Um, and so the first one it gave me was Hilarious Posters. Uh-huh. And uh, that's a three-minute movie. <laughs> Short so film. We can't do a whole episode silent on that. <laughs> yeah, silent film. But we're going to give you a little tidbit here. And then uh, the next, the full episode, if you haven't noticed the title, is uh, Herbie Fully Loaded. Was mm-hmm. I think you gave Are me you plus sh- or minus. Plus, plus or, or minus, minus two. two, and I picked. I don't remember if it was minus, minus or two. Plus. Yeah, and so we got there. Yeah, she could have had the Hobbit. Ugh. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know. I was blindly picking. <laughs> so anyway, let's run through expectations of hilarious posters. Well, no, we're <laughs> just gonna go dive in. No, we gotta do the same format. <laughs> it's just a mini episode. Within Although, an episode. I guess we should. Do you really only want it to be three minutes? Because in which case, we'd have to, like, speed run it. Yeah. Like, I think it would take three minutes just to do expectations. 
No, we're going to do each person gets a minute of expectations and what they and thought content. of the film. Yeah. And to and flip, flip it on, on or, or flip off. off. Well, that'll be at the end. That'll be at the end. <laughs> that doesn't count towards the three minutes. Yeah, okay. So who wants to try their first minute, their minute first? Not it. <laughs> Sam will go first because she ended up picking it. Okay, I'll All go right. first. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to hold it up. So, Tim, I'll give you um, cues when it's your turn for like 30 seconds, 15. Sure, what yeah. Up? All right, so ready, Sam? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, so it's from like the 1900s and it's in black and white. And uh, based on that synopsis, I was like, all right, like, <laughs> it's only three minutes of my life. How bad could it be? I was wrong. I just said that. That was my expectation. Cut off. Got it done in like 20 seconds. Uh, and then going on my notes on the film, it was horrible. I disliked it <laughs> because <laughs> it, was, it was, I don't know. It was, I didn't understand it. Okay. It was like Harry Potter posters coming to life, but like not in a funny way. I'm like, I, I think it was supposed to be funny. It, it's it's all hilarious. hilarious posters. I didn't find it hilarious. It was like barely chuckle inducing to me. Just like a bunch of people crawling out of posters like Harry Potter. Done. I didn't oh, she had 12 seconds minute. remaining. Oh, shit. Look Woo. at that. All right, Tim. You're up next. <laughs> All right. All right. Three, two, one. You got one uh, minute. Yeah. You got 58 so... seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to restart you because I fucked you up. All right. Three, two, one. Go again. Yeah. Uh, Expectations. I was just kind of like Sam. Like, All right. Cool. Let's get into it. Old silent film, 1900s. Yeah. I, you know, why not? It's the length of a YouTube video. Probably shorter. Um, mm-hmm. And then I forgot to watch it, and then I had to watch it <laughs> right before this. Anyway. Yeah, it's uh, cool. It was only three minutes. I don't know. I don't have as much hate as Sam does for it. I, I kind of enjoyed it uh, until the end, but I loved all the cuts they did and stuff, and I like watching each character's individually. I, I kind of like paused it for a second or like went, re- rewound it a little bit to look at that. Um, but the bottom two actresses, they had no idea what the fuck they were doing. Uh, they were just like <laughs> taking cues and waiting for cues and stuff. Everybody else was just kind of having fun. And then the yeah. poster falls over and all the people are laughing. I re- that really lost me. So I don't yeah. really know what was supposed to happen, but I'm assuming it's just from the timeline or the, when it was made that you know whatever it that's how people thought comedy was five know. seconds i'm going there i'm done <laughs> <laughs> nice here you go sam you can be no me. i agree like i'm just before you get to go i'm gonna You're add a little bit extra con- yeah i'm gonna add my 12 seconds of content that i agree i didn't understand what was happening when it fell down all right i still have like seven seconds of content to react to adam's message <laughs> three two one Okay, so I was expecting a movie about some funny-ass posters. Funny-ass posters. Funny. Yeah, I was expecting there to be at least ass. one ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just expected that to be, like, some 1900s humor where somebody just puts their butt against a poster. Anyways. I thought you meant uh, donkey. What? No, I, I don't know. I thought you meant donkey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would have worked, too. Anyways, so as far as the film goes, I was like, is this some Harry Potter shit going on? Because this feels like some fucking Harry Potter shit. And you know what? I was... It was more or less, mm-hmm. and I was a little confused. Like, so they were like going in and out of being able to attack people in real life and not. Yeah, kind of interesting. And then they're like, "Oh, we're just posters again. It's all good." And then they go back, and then they end up crashing the poster into it. I don't really understand the ending, but you know, I got a couple chuckles out of it, and I did not have as much animosity as Sam did. <laughs> so there's that going on, and I'm gonna try and run on to my last second, and here we are done. Wow. Nailed it. <laughs> That's a weird ass noise. <laughs> Don't judge my Where's timer. My phone? Give me... Oh, wait, you have to do Herbie still. Okay, so Sam, you flipping it on? Fuck no. Tim? Yes. It's only three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel <laughs> yeah, like I know. I was three like... minutes. It's, it's pre, you know, uh, movies that we know now. It just made me think a lot about history of movies. So. It had nothing to do with the film itself, but yeah, watch it. I don't think you're losing <laughs> enough life on it, so yeah, why not? I was going to say, you probably watch enough ads that are three minutes long on like Hulu right. or something, so yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I would rather spend my time watching an ad. If you've got Hulu with ads, while the ads are running, yeah, just open this up. There you go. Okay, so Sam's now got Herbie fully loaded, which his name is not Herbie fully reloaded, which I have called it since it came out. 
I thought there was a reloaded. In no. There. I don't it's know. Is Herbie fully loaded? I'm well, convinced it's Herbie and not Herbie. It's like the Herbie. Herb. Herbie. Yeah. <laughs> Herbert. I like it. <laughs> so I will refer to him as Herbie this entire time. <laughs> I like Good it. luck. <laughs> All right. So the synopsis for Herbie. Herbie. <laughs> I can't We're watching Herbie or watching yeah. Herbie fully loaded? <laughs> The 1963 Volkswagen Beetle with a mind of his own roars to life with spirited Lindsay Lohan question mark behind the wheel in this comedy. Do we think but she don't. was spirited? At the time, maybe. I don't. I don't know, Tim. What were your expectations on this? Because <laughs> I'm very interested in this. This is like been what I've been waiting for all week to just hear what you have to say about this film. <laughs> Uh, I mean, knowing the history and not really watching much of, uh, Irby, um, Can I mean, I kind of knew, <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, <laughs> I kind of knew what we were getting into, um, I didn't expect much from the, the film, I expected more of a kid's film, um, you know, corny bits here and there, all sorts of stuff, uh, and, uh, I wasn't really pumped about it at all. Uh, except oh, for no. what's his face is in it, and I can't remember his right name right now. It's Justin Long, yes, Justin Long. I I think he's fantastic. So that actually him alone, like m- jumped this movie up in my interest. Um, <laughs> and then the big baddie, he's a pretty good actor too. Uh, and then they had a bunch of like people in there that are that are good. So it, it you know, uh, that that kind of helped me be more interested yeah. in the film in general. So. Yeah, I was, I was interested literally to hear what you had to say. <laughs> I, not it's in just, the film. <laughs> not in the film, actually. I'm more interested uh. in, to discuss this one because we know Tim's love of children's and family movies, mm-hmm. <laughs> and his love of cars mm-hmm. against this. So I'm like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> also, yeah, I do like Justin Long too. I, yeah. He's just from like when we were in high school, and he did all the comedy. He did all the great movies. Yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, and Sam has yeah, seen this movie, yeah. so I'm curious as to what child Sam thought and you know, what adult Sam is thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, well, I didn't watch any of the old Herbies. Herbie. <laughs> <And I, laughs> Excusez moi. I uh, did see this one. I feel like I saw it at the drive-in, but maybe that's just me, like plugging this memory in but i don't know i I saw it as a kid at some point in my life i believe when it was new either in the theater at the drive-in yeah you would have been like there's a high 12 yeah and uh i just remember that the car comes to life and Lindsay lohan was in it before she was like totally whacked no this is the like point of no return point of whacking (laughs) whacking that is what a lot of people did with about like looking at her, but yeah. Um, anywho, oh, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I felt like this was like uh, almost her, ch- like it was before she totally lost it, but it I felt like Disney she film. had lost it before this at to some I degree think, as well. Anyway, yeah, I, it I can't remember if it was before or after Mean Girls. I have no yeah. idea, yeah, no idea. Anyway. So I was just like, huh, I wonder if this is a horrible kids movie. Because, like, you know, a lot of the early 2000s, you look back at, back at it and you're like, ooh, this is painful to watch. And so I was kind of wondering if this would fall in that bucket. But that was about my only expectation. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. So let's get started. Yeah. Mini skirts were all the rage back then. Yeah, apparently. Really. <laughs> I, you guys I don't was... remember? Oh, no, I remember. <laughs> But I had forgotten. I was like, come on now. We all lived through that time. You guys should have remembered that. Mm-hmm. Maybe because you didn't own any. Did you? Did you guys own mini skirts? Tim, do we Not tell her that, that we did? <laughs> I think you just outed yourself. <laughs> I'm solid. No, I did not. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, she was always, a, she was either in that or Lindsay Lohan is in mini skirt or really cargo cargo pants. Not shorts. Pants. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Which I remember that was the style of the time, too, because she's, like, in those yeah. in Freaky Friday. Like, oh. it's just, like, that's the style, man. It was, like, a tight shirt, almost like a midriff, but not, because they weren't back in then. Now, midriff then, was like, in during the 2000s. Shirts. 
Yeah, but not like full. It's not like full crop like it is now. It oh, was no, like a, that was too scandalous back then. It's like a slight midriff. Yeah, that's true. So it's like you got to balance out your midriff with cargy, cargy pants. Cargy pants. Cargy pants. <laughs> but oh my gosh! But I don't think I remember anyone wearing heels with their mini skirts. Like, come on, that's unrealistic. I have yeah. no idea. Yeah, that's just all I'm going to say about that. Okay. That seemed unrealistic. Especially when you're going to hop in a race car. Like, here, let me just wear my stilettos. That's true. Totally yeah, Herbie, Irby, Irby over here was an old school race car. You know, he has racing stripes and mm-hmm. he has a racing number. And they're like, oh, he's a hunk of junk. Yeah. Like, there's got to be more to that. Like, you're just, just going to assume it's not. I mean, well, just because it's a racing car doesn't mean it's not a hunk of junk, right? Right. True. Now, Tim, mm-hmm. as a car man fan, sure thing. Did you notice that the Dodge Charger stock car that Lindsay Lohan got in and fake drove at the beginning? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course. Did you Did you notice the cameo appearance about that car uh, from Fast so. and the Furious 2001? Oh, no! <laughs> Is that actually it? Yes. Well, I mean, I. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know that. I just figured it was another charger. I know. I was, I was just fucking with you. Because, yeah. like, it seems like such a weird thing. I also cause... thought this movie was older than that. But I guess. Not. I definitely thought they were released closer together than five years apart. Yeah. Like, 2001, 2006. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this movie feels like it should be older. Yeah, like three years, <laughs> like really 2002. Because it has the standard 2000s, like, random, like, Rock music. Yeah. Just coming in and out. Yeah. Yeah, I hated that music. It it didn't fit at all at any point was, in hey. the movie. There was a few times where it was like, all right, it's a good song. It kind of fits the scene. But most of the time, it just felt super forced and awful. Are, are you saying when Van Halen's jump came on and Herbie jumped, that was, that too, was, much that was too much? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deadpan. Yes. <laughs> what do you guys think of um how whenever she was skateboarding it would only show her like oh, feet God. and legs? Yeah. It wasn't and, her. <laughs> yeah, because like clearly she's not a skater. <laughs> hey, at least they didn't have her skateboarding in heels. That's true. That I mean, how awful. hard could it be to do some of the shit that she was doing though? Like, Internal, okay, I though. get the like it, popping it. He up. has a good point. What did you say? Insurance. 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 Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, but she was literally just, like, popping the front off and, like, pivoting, which right, like, I couldn't <laughs> skate, but I could Herbie, do that. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. Irby was just watching her and, like, oogling her, like, going back and forth on the skateboard. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Why? And she was, like, shifting back and forth. It was so weird. <laughs> Irby's uh, a weird dude. I also want to know, like, I'm sure while filming that none of it was like motorized i don't know maybe it was um but like the movement and stuff irby did did people like or were they supposed to not notice it was that for the audience only oh you mean like in like where he's in the like world faces, of the movie yeah or like his yeah. eyes would flutter and stuff like dude i don't know i, I have Jeff no Gordon. idea <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. i think that car just winked at me oh that's Man, right you're crazy <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. And at one point, like, clearly this car is doing stuff. You know, the first sentient car, let's fucking doze it. Yeah. Let's just throw it yeah. away in the trash. Yeah. The only person that fucking appreciated it for what it was, was Trip. Mm-hmm. Because he sent it to the... the yeah, he appreciated demolition. it so much that it pissed him off. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, is, is that considered appreciation? Yes. Okay. <laughs> With anger. It's in a form of appreciation. Got you. You hate it so much so you destroy it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. But the, her family in this film mm-hmm. is a racing family because they have to be. Of course. Of course. But they live in a bougie house. Bougie, bougie ass house. But a bougie house. That's what I tried to say. We can't talk tonight. Mm. Continue. But, like, her family is awful at racing. Like, how do they have the nice house? I don't think they were always awful. I got the impression that the grandpa and the dad were good, and it's just the son that sucks. Yeah, they were living off of, like, yeah, whatever they made, I guess, of themselves. 
Okay. Yeah, because they were. It, it seemed like. like, yeah, they were like sponsored for forever with Bass Pro or mm-hmm. whatever. Like oh, they probably lady. were sponsored by a lot of people, and then they slowly fell off as like their mm-hmm. name yeah. kind of was became more irrelevant. And yeah. They only had the one sponsor left. I know. It Bass was... Pro. <laughs> what a sponsor! So yeah. Although Trip had Cheetos movie, along with Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Pepsi, Pepsi slogan was everywhere. Really? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, they kept drinking Pepsi cans like they were in the seventies. Well, you know, back in the two thousands, they had that whole Pepsi uh, like campaign. That, oh, like, they did. Who? I know J Lo was like a Pepsi person at some point, but yeah. I want to say like Britney Spears was too. She was. Everyone yes. was. So Lindsay Lohan probably was. <laughs> Very well, could have been. Yeah. But anyway, that doesn't shock me that Pepsi was everywhere. Yeah. But as the film goes. Sorry. It's fine. Getting off track. Well, I mean, it was on track still. Just like, oh, you see the transition? Uh-huh. Mm, the Herbie, Herbie um, rail grinding. Yeah. In that street race, which there were four different Herbies made just for that first race. What? Yeah. One to... One to rail, one to like slide. I don't know. One to flip, the, one to. The amount of cars they destroy in movies is actually pretty crazy. I mean, you got to think Tim about cries it. They do all those time. shots and stuff. It, it's just yeah. wild because they will take like rare cars and get as many as they can and then destroy them. Or, or they just like reskin cars for the yeah. destruction part. Because um, you can get like a, um, you can get like them to print out basically 3D print fucking old car models now and put it on a different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Herbie did stunt quite a bit. He was popping wheelies down the middle of the street in town. During mm-hmm. that race, he also spun on his head. Like, wow, good thing he could do that. Otherwise, she would have lost. <laughs> also, I just want to say, like, none of them thought it was weird that the car's fucking doing a wheelie down the middle of the road. I know. Like, oh, well, people were, like, kind of looking like, what is going on? <laughs> but nobody was freaking out. Well, people usually just ignore that anyway. I mean, not that there's a lot of cars doing wheelies. Popping wheelies. Usually it's like Popping Popping wheelies. wheelies. <laughs> if you're doing a wheelie in a car going down a street, uh, I would get off, like, away from the street. Uh, yeah. Personally. Tim would be like, Cause that I'm car, out. <laughs> Yeah, that person driving a car that can do that on the street is not a smart person. So I would not be around that person. <laughs> personally. Um, yeah. Person. Person. <laughs> so I have a person's quote here. Oh, okay. I think it was um, Kevin. Who's Kevin? Justin, Justin Long? Justin Long. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. That's supposed to be connected to something. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what he pulled. Was it? Oh, it was the e-brake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He pulls the e-brake and it just comes, comes off. Comes out, they yeah. Only, they're only connected by wires, so. Yeah. Is pull replaying. hard enough? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But then, Tim, we have a wild McPoyle sighting. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> and he plays a great... He. What's weird is he looks the same yet so young. Yeah. Well, that's the same with uh, her dad. Oh, God, I can't think of his name. I Michael think Keaton. Anyway. Michael Keaton. He never looks different. He's always no, looked he, like that. He looks like that he, now. <laughs> like, yeah. He, he hit that age of where... <laughs> Um, fuck, what's his name? Robert De Niro. Yeah. Where he looked the same age for a good 40 years. Mm-hmm. And now he looks like old man De Niro. I think Michael Keaton still looks the same, except his hair is now gray. It's all gray now, yeah. Versus brown. But yes, I agree. And I just thought that it was funny every time McPoyle was on screen because, like, the first time for the race, he was, like, dramatically waving the flag. And we were, like, dramatic McPoyle sighting. And then, like, later on, I don't know. I just couldn't take him seriously. Everything that he did, I was just like, I can't unsee it. Like, I just can't. Right. Now, we're going to go into some sunny trivia real quick. Uh Uh-oh. How many episodes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia do you think Liam McPoyle is in? There are 15 seasons. Yeah, I'm trying to think of all the ones that they just, like, pop in. 22. 22 from Sam? It tells me on IMDb. So I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking. It's probably it's probably around, like, 11 or something like that. Maybe seven. Lower. Seven. Oh, that was my first guess! That was my initial <laughs> thought. I was like, yeah, it's probably, like, seven. And then I was like, ah, go a little bit higher. 
Think, ah! think about this. <laughs> so close. <laughs> they're in at least 50% of the seasons, mm-hmm. but I know they're in multiple se- episodes in multiple, in a few mm-hmm. seasons. So like, but they leave such an impact in the show. They really do. Yeah. All the, all the characters like that, all the side characters are always fantastic. But... I love Rickety Cricket, man. Cricket's great. But <laughs> I liked his character in this film. Crash? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Crash was funny. I thought it was funny. Yeah. And... Tim, you would know this better than us. Is a Pontiac GTO actually a good car? I like it. I um, and for what I they were, <laughs> they were actually pretty great. Um, you look at them. I put it, I'll put it this way. Um, when I was looking for a car at one point, I wanted a GTO. I wanted one of those. But there's two versions of it, and you wanted the one with the obviously the better engine. So there was two V8 versions of it, and that was it. And you wanted one you know, the 6.0, um, engine, the other one was a five, seven, I think. But anyway, uh, so yeah, there's your difference in like that, I guess. Um, but at the time the cars were great and they're actually, they, they actually hold up very well nowadays with a little bit of work, but, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that car. And for the time that that car was in, I, yeah, I, it could hold its own, no problem. Um, but anyway, when I was looking for a car, (laughs) my mom was really funny about this. Uh, I, I kept like obsessing over a blue one that was for sale. I was like, that's it's down the street. It had a roll cage and everything in it. And I was like, I want that what? car. I want, yeah, it was, it was wild. So whatever somebody had done to this car, I hadn't had a chance to like, really look at it. Like they changed out the interior. Um, it was all like, it was blue on the outside, some blue, uh, accents on the inside. It had a roll cage and stuff. I, I didn't see any hints at, uh, how trips was set up with a, a boost gauge. So his was probably supercharged or whatever. Um, cause that's usually what that boost gauge there is for, uh, old school supercharger boost gauge. Um, <clears throat> and my mom was like, I would never know that's a car, like a sports car or whatever. And yeah. I, you know, it's like, cause you looking at them, you wouldn't think that. And, and they have a version of like without the hood scoop and with the hood scoop and you would notice more with the hood scoop. Um, but no, those were, those were cool cars back then. And I still like them a lot and they're still, I mean, they hold their own. Like, you know, they still, they had like 400 horsepower. So damn, they're, they're I'm pretty, spicy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knew that it was a sports car. Like, I feel like it was a car in need for speed that I always chose. I'm just going to yeah. say that. I right mean, right it ha- it's a cool, like, that, like a sleek looking car, you know, it sounds yeah. good. Like, I was going to say, yeah. I'm pretty sure that like, that's one of the few cars that I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. I raced that car in need for speed. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, the timeline yeah. lines up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I was found it kind of interesting. He drives the GTO on the side, but he drives a Monte Carlo in NASCAR. Mm-hmm. Well, that's consistencies. Just how... I'm no, just that's just um, his what, personal what car. What it was, yeah, that was more of his personal car. Which I, I you know. know, later on he brings the Corvette. So I was kind of like, well, then why is he driving the GTO? Is he just like only take the Corvette out because the Corvette when he revved it or whatever sounded like it might have had turbos and shit, you know? But they always put in fake sound for all their cars and mini movies anyway so you really never know what they're trying to go for i was surprised you hear those electric cars roar yeah (laughs) i hear they pipe in engine noise into the car now yeah sure even my car has that i just disable it (laughs) now um no but i just thought it was funny that i was like that car yeah i was on your mom's side yeah (laughs) i mean cool man like obviously he's a racer and like scratching somebody key, keying someone's car more or less was what her Irby did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mischievous Irby. Yeah. And mm-hmm. everybody's like street race. I'm like, how is that why the next you, why solution? Why is that the next thing? I wrote that down yeah. too. Yeah. It's like, wait, where did you? What? <laughs> also, how does Max know her? Mm-hmm. Not Max. He Max is fake. How does Trip know Maggie? I think she used to race. Like. Don't they kind of, like, make it seem like she used to race down there? Right, right. They hint that, like, he knows the family and stuff. He knows his dad's, you know, or her dad, like, in their history of the grandpa and stuff. It seems like that's how he knows the family. And I'm sure they had some kind of interactions and stuff going up. And, obviously, the son's in racing. So, Mm -hmm. I think that's where it comes from. I'm guessing that. that I just felt it was awkward. (laughs) You thought it was too forced? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that, but. But the biggest plot hole, Tim, mm-hmm. was they knew Crash and 
Trip knew the driver's name was Max. Mm-hmm. They're like, how did Max do that? I'm like, first off, his name... She said his name was Max at home to her dad alone. And then in the next scene, they knew his name was Max. It was mm-hmm. written on his helmet, wasn't it? I think so. No, Trip wrote on his helmet. No, no. Max was on the helmet. Oh, was it? Yeah. It was Max later was on the in the helmet, movie. And then yeah. uh, he signs the helmet. So I assumed that's where he saw the name. Okay, okay. Because... It was too subtle for me. He was like, "I'm used to family and kids table. movies." Because Justin Long pulls the helmet out of the uh, trunk and is just like, "Uh, what's this?" Yeah, I, I it was too subtle. I'm used to kids movies, just smacking you in the face with knowledge so that the children like Adam can follow. <clears throat> well, I think it was around the. Uh... Maybe I was writing a note. Yeah, it could have been. I think it's around the first race where we had to take our first break. It was 22 minutes in. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I need to walk around the house for a little bit and come back to this movie. So I just want to interject that in right now because yeah. that was after the first race, you know. And then did you just, Sam, were you, were you like in love with the line of, you want to feel how it feels to be behind the re- wheel of a real car? No. And then later, what does he say? It was the best ride of her life. And I was like, Barf. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was hitting on her or what. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, technically, like, she's supposed to be 22 at that point. So, it was yeah, like, she graduated college. Perfectly fine, but gross. It's still gross because he looks way older. Yeah, yeah, but aren't NASCAR drive? I mean, there are old ones, but they're I young. Think there are some young ones, too. So, I mean, just, just because Matt Dillon is old as fuck. Doesn't mean is he that, that the much character, older though? I don't know. I feel like he is. Pretty sure. I don't know. Drivers are in their early twenties usually. Right. Like I feel like they're younger, so it's not that weird. But it feels weird because Matt Dillon feels older than that. Right. I think all it's right, supposed right. to be that age range, but a little bit older is kind of how it felt. Mm-hmm. How much older do you think Matt Dillon is to Lindsay Lohan? Holy shit! Fifteen, twenty years. <laughs> 22 years. He's 57 <laughs> now. She's 35. Gross. So, assuming she's 22 and he's half of the age difference, he's in his 30s. Mm-hmm. Gross. That's why it feels weird. Not because yeah, a NASCAR driver would be old. Yeah, yeah it's it's the actor's age difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's also kind of gross if you think about it? Herbie crushing on... Herbie. Or be crushing on that other bug she's because too young for him. She's, she's really young compared yeah. to him. <laughs> yeah. But how is that, how old is that in car years? I don't know. Well, uh, well, seeing as most cars don't last more than 10 years. Um, Ancient. Like a 90-year-old man. I mean, he's that's a 1963 and she at the earliest is a 2003. Okay. So do those math if 1 equals 40 years. <laughs> <It's> 40. <laughs> I really hated that whole, like, the other bug thing. That was so stupid. And the fact that they had to get the, like, I'm assuming oil cooler. Because he lost Yeah, I didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. So it's either, yeah, it it was an oil cooler from my assumption. um, Because they just slap it on there with duct tape and shit. I don't understand that. But I guess they just didn't have, I don't know. Because you would have, like, if you're losing oil pressure, you, you have something wrong with your lines. Not necessarily the oil cooler but who knows i don't fucking know what they were trying to go for there in movies it never makes sense anyway but i'm probably now wrong too who knows <laughs> <laughs> um you're a resident car expert so you are you so correct. we're gonna go into yeah. the resident car expert thing Uh-oh. sam and i had a very long standstill debate sure Uh-oh. on stock <laughs> cars sure so she was saying that it made no sense why Irby was allowed to be in the race because it's all stock cars. Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Um, or I I don't know what we were arguing, but I was oh, arguing. Whole... <laughs> go ahead, go. Tim. No, no, you go first because I want to know the whole thing. Yeah, I was arguing that NASCAR cars are the same car. Now I understand that they're not right. Like they're they're Chevys. They're they're literally Monte different Carlos. cars. They're literally different cars, but like they have to have like like they're the same car cuz like they have to have like a similar line of specs cuz like otherwise what would stop somebody like 
I, it doesn't make sense. All the NASCAR cars look the same. So I have to imagine that they have somewhat of the same specs. Because well, be how would someone, like, here's the thing. Like, if you're allowed to have whatever the fuck car you want, then how would it ever be even and fair? Mm-hmm. Right? Like, and then the reason I also thought of that is, like, they race the trucks in a separate situation. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, like, they have truck races. Mm-hmm. Particular, and then they have the the stupid car races, and so therefore, if you could just slap any car like a bug in it, why can't the trucks race with the stock cars? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then what was your argument, Adam? Uh, that they're different cars. <laughs> okay. She was arguing a different point, like we always do. Sure. Well, she's more right. Um, <clears throat> from well, from- no, I know that they had to have similar specs, but I was saying she was arguing that the Chevy was the exact same car as the Ford. Yes. By technicalities, yes. Sure. Um, <laughs> that is I don't so know. Mad. <laughs> by by technicality, so from I don't watch NASCAR. I don't watch really. Any oh, racing now let's things, raise but... our hand. Who does? Who has been to a NASCAR race? Please raise your hands. <laughs> I did. Sam used to go to them. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> but what I understand of the rules of NASCAR, and and they're very strict. They limit the horsepower. So the engines they have in there are capable of massive amounts of horsepower, but they detune them because they're limited to a certain amount. So it's always engineering wise, it's always better. Um, you have certain specs that you have to follow, just like any races, they have the rules. Um, and so I'm with you on that. I'm like, no, they probably would not let in the bug because first of all, I don't know if they have drag coefficients that they have to use or, um, you know, length of the actual shell, the car size, whatever. Um, I just know that the mechanical specs of it are all pretty much dialed in to be the same. Like they have to be the same. Um, I don't know about tires. I would assume that you're allowed to pick from certain slicks or whatever. Yeah. It's depending um, on your sponsor. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, yeah. Like why he wouldn't be allowed in the race. Like even if you no, strip it down like the rest of them and whatever, uh, you also can't drive a NASCAR stock car on the road. So <laughs> what she does that what um and as far as like you're like oh in the beginning you talked about he drives a monte carlo in the race and then he drives a uh gto a gto well that's just how the it works in the races so like the the chevy will have had for a long time the monte carlo so that's what the shell was a monte carlo and that's all those cars ever are uh ford had the mustang for a while or you know um it was the taurus in this they had the they had the taurus for a long time um so it, it that's the only consistency with the brand that the car has it's literally just a picture of the car and you have to have that um as one of your models essentially so yeah i mean if they made Irby into the same shape and whatever and just called it a beetle, it would fly, like, in my opinion. But, like, they didn't, so. All that being it, said, it, the it stock really car version of Irby was put on display in the NASCAR museum. What? The stock car that Irby was. In the movie? Yeah. That's cool. He's, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. Like, <laughs> it's it's you're gonna have different variations of the rules. Obviously, I wasn't arguing whether or not Ur- Irby was allowed in the race. Right, you were arguing if they're the same or not. Yeah, they're manufactured by different companies. They are man- mm, yes. yes, yeah, they are manufactured by different companies, different engines, whatnot. But they're all have to be the same. The same. Because <laughs> the one thing I know. I was like, I know the one thing I know about NASCAR is people argue over the Hondas. And, like, the Fords and the shit. Like, the Ford ones are winning all the races right now. Ford engine's the way to go. And I was like, I don't get it. Because I thought they were all the same. Mm, yes, drag coefficients. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding on to that one for a long time. I, I'm obsessed with that term, honestly. Uh, I like the I idea of, of, like, looking at drag, uh, drag on cars and stuff. Like, for instance, my focus is... A drag of 0.35. Yeah, What's my to escape? Uh, I honestly don't know, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was lower than that. Because for, like... No, you're I don't know if it's low so as Hatchbacks good. have higher... Yeah, you want lower number. So, like, for instance, Mercedes just came out with, or is coming out with an electric car that has, like, a 0.17 drag coefficient, so it's for distance driving, obviously. Or, like, a lot of those, like, um, 
uh, I can't think of the term right now, but oh, hypermilers. Have you ever heard of hypermiling? So these no. people will. Mm, yes. You have? Yeah. So <laughs> no, they'll, she they'll, has they'll not. Literally, uh, m- like put molds on cars to make them way more um, efficient with drag. Uh, like they'll Ew. take civics and stuff, um, and they'll see like how many miles they can get out of it. And when you see one of these cars, you'll see it, and you're like, why is that car shaped like a raindrop? Or like, why is that car? four times longer than normal civic like that's what it is it's a hyper miler but yeah so you're saying when i make my car and test track it up caught a big block mm-hmm. it has a very bad <laughs> yeah i was like <laughs> we yeah. make the what ugliest vehicles in drag <laughs> in, in, uh, in that game yeah. show thing right also a fun fact a car with dents in it has better drag coefficient than a car that doesn't like if you have if it looks like a golf ball it's better than uh, a car that's like sleek yeah that's why golf balls are dented. Mm, yep. Physics. It's pretty mm-hmm. interesting. Drag coefficients. Math. <laughs> there you go. There's your car lesson for today. <laughs> All right. And so back to the movie. What did you think of the fact that the dad arrives at the race that he wasn't going to go to? Yeah. Gets into the was. center. Gets into the middle before, like, right when he's needed. And then spends, like, five minutes talking to her. Of course. Like, why wouldn't that happen? Yeah. That you we knew it was gonna happen. You saw it coming. That's how these movies work. Like, oh, I know. It was just so funny. I'm like, you you're in the middle of a race. Cars I, did it better. I just thought it was shitty how they went about him not wanting her to like not wanting her to race. Is because well, it's he was different. a spitting image of his of his wife, and it's like, well, that's not fair. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't just like, I don't know. I, I know. It was really shitty, but oh, yeah, it was. It. They had to find an angle, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't really care if your brother dies because he doesn't look like your mom. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, like, what? what? The fuck? <laughs> also, Justin, just, just, by the way, Kevin, you look more more close to this family than um, Ray, Ron, Ray Jr. Or, yeah, whatever his name yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Ray Jr. looks like he was adopted. Yeah. Right. In comparison, like, Justin, just, Justin Long looks closer to Lindsay Lohan than um, Brecken does. Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. Family. Mm-hmm. Jeez, uh, and then she wins the race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think it's totally legal to like go up on the fence like that in NASCAR too. That seems super safe. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Why well, wait, did you guys allowed? did you guys catch in the newspaper that Herbie er, Irby um was split in half mid race and finished? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The whole intro thing in the that... in the intro, yeah. That was actually funny. Yeah, that the made intro me think was actually the... entertaining. Yeah, and that made me think the, uh, the older the movies are probably better. This they is the first are. time something something family isn't driving the car. Oh, it's a new family. Also, why does Irby need a driver? I don't know. Because otherwise it would be weird that a car is driving itself, <laughs> and then now it becomes a it's... government experiment. Okay. <laughs> In my opinion. <laughs> so what the fuck happened at the end um, when he well, somehow they just drive got... off? Yeah, the two of them. Into the sunset. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That was weird. Love that was very bug. weird. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and Tim, at Disney, in All-Star Movies Resort, there's an entire Irby section. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So you I should d- stay there when you I go I don't Disney. get it. Because <laughs> you got, like, Mighty Ducks. You got Fantasia. Sure. Like, we got, like, the cartoon Mighty Ducks, sorry, from, like, the 90s. Um, Fantasia. And then... Toy Story. Toy Story. And then you got Irby. And then you got Irby. What I'm the fuck? I'm telling you, I feel like the first movies were really loved. I they are know. beloved. I, I yeah. Think, yeah. So I feel like it was probably, I mean, you had to suspend your disbelief because, like, it's a sentient car. But I don't know. Maybe they made it more, like, fun and haha versus, like, 2000 y. <laughs> no, I yeah. think there is definitely a different vibe. Just from watching the intros to it, I could see where the love for the, like, Irby came from. And, mm-hmm. uh,. And it's just like, this is one of those movies. This is exactly what made me think of. It's like, not a reboot, but trying to carry on that. And they're like, oh, maybe we can hook these people in that all liked, you know, the movies back in the day. And this has been a bit of separation from the movies. So we'll carry on with like another family and yeah, kind of do a reboot. Obviously, that was the only movie that's come out of the 2000s. That's an Irby movie. So it didn't work. Um Maybe I'm waiting for, for the cartoon series. Okay. It's probably going to happen any time now. Yeah. So now that we're doing an episode on it, it will happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. 
Um, do, do, do. I don't have... Oh, well, I do have a couple more notes, but I'll let you guys... They're not part of the movie. It's the extra notes, mm-hmm. so... Do you have anything else, Sam? Yeah, I don't think that the Herbie landing on a monster truck would break it like that. No. <laughs> Probably not. Also, this was the entire plot of Cars 3. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, Tim, how about you? Any other notes? <laughs> um, yeah, I really hated the wheelies. Um, the <laughs> climbing on the wall and driving on the fence. Uh, the mm-hmm. smashing the monster truck, climbing over cars. I get the car is supposed to be like sentient and whatever, but like... I can only suspend that disbelief for so long. <laughs> Are you saying the car can't be like, Superman? Yeah, like unless it unless there's supposed to be something about how it's like capable of doing like destruction like that. Like I, I really hated the driving on the fence and everybody's just like, Oh my god, it actually did that. Wow. I yeah. why did you like I hated it. I, I mean Trip is the it. most realistic response. He's like, that car is possessed. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. It kind of was. All right, so when this movie first was released, like they did a sneak peek of it, and they gave out free tickets to anybody who had the name variation of Herbert. <laughs> That's amazing. Interesting. Wait, what is the variation though? Herb. Herbert, Herbie. Do people actually go by Herbie? Herbie, Herbert. Yeah. <laughs> but there's only like three. Is what I was kidding. Yeah, at. I know. Like, but they were. Yeah, I mean. So that's not very many people. Well. All right. I don't know. It, it would Herbert. be the same as Herbert. Right. So I was just, but like when these movies first came out. It might have been popular. Yeah. Like that generation might have a lot of herbs running around. Yeah. I mean, Two and a Half Men had one. And I was also just trying to uh, think if there was anything random. Like, you know how like Robert goes by Dick. Like I was like, is yeah. there That's an Richard. equivalent? Oh. Richard goes by Dick. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Is that the same? Is there an equivalent for Herb? Does he go by Ort? Ert? No, he goes by Herb. Erty. Anyways. Bert. Bert. Bert probably is a Herb. Bert is. Yeah, Bert is. Thank you. I knew there had to be one. So there okay. might be a lot of Berts with their pal Ernie going to see this movie for free. So Lindsay Lohan hit puberty pretty hard. Mm. So much that Disney digitalized her breast. To be smaller on the poster. Interesting. Poor Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, they were a bit apparently too big for their kids movie. And they were like, we could shrink them. Poor Lindsay. I thought it was funny. Because of like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's just yeah. Like, but yeah, you got this guy that's 20 years old. And I don't know. Like, yeah. Like... Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that's acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the cast. Maggie was played by Lindsay Lohan. Shugeth. I know, she's in The Parent Trap, Mean Girls, Freaky Friday. She had this great acting life up until around this time. I was going to say, was this like one of her last? It and was. then she went, Ew. This was her last Disney film. Was she in ever anything other besides Freaky Disney? Friday. That was Disney too. Mean Girls wasn't. Oh, that's true. Mean Girls wasn't. Um, but this was her last box office success, apparently, according wow. to IMDb. Uh, Ray Payton Sr. was played by Michael Keaton. And he was in a movie, Batman, uh-huh. Birdman, uh-huh. Spider-Man, Homecoming. Lots of men. He was also in the movie Cars, where he plays, um, fuck, what, Carl Hicks? Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks. Uh, side note on that, I've never seen the Cars movies. <gasps> yeah, we've discussed We should start you with Cars 3 so that you can decide it's if this is the same, the same story. Uh-huh. It probably is. Trip Murphy is played by Matt Dillon. He's in Wayward Pines. There's something about Mary. Wow. Drugstore Cowboy. Drugstore Cowboy, Drugstore eh? Cowboy. I'm interested by the name. Wasn't uh, he also in The Outsiders? Possibly. I get he, I get young Matt Dillon mixed up with Ethan Hawke. Yeah. But the, I don't think they look alike anymore, like as adults. Correct. Just as children. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think he's um, Pony Boy. Or Dallas. No, he's Dallas. He's Dallas. Jot that down. Okay. Uh, Ray Payton Jr. is played by Brecken Meyer, who sounds like he just has like some sort of um, personality test named after him. <laughs> he does. I think it's the Myers Briggs test. Yeah. Um. He's in uh, Rat Race, Road Trip, and Clueless. So like, I thought he was in a Scooby movie. Did I just make that up? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What Scooby movie? I don't know. <laughs> 
There's only been like two live action ones. I know, and I and he's not Shaggy, like that's oh, Matthew no, Lillard. So I'm like, what would he like? He's what? not Freddy. I just assumed that he was. I don't know. Anyway, continue. Kevin is played by Justin Long. Fantastic. Kevin. He's in Dodgeball, the true um, true underdog. I don't remember the full thing. I always called it just do- Dodgeball. Fantastic film. Mm-hmm. He's going the distance. Actually, there's no he's. It's just going the distance. Where it's a chick flick, but Charlie Day's in it, Tim. So Dang. there's that. Yeah. Charlie Day poops with the door open in the movie. <laughs> That's his character. Um, and then he's also an Accepted, which is an interesting movie to come back and rewatch. Fantastic movie to watch. That's we so rewatched good. we rewatched it in the last year, and we we're just like, this is very much a comedy from this era. Like, yeah. yeah, it like it doesn't make sense out of any other time period. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. I remembered it was well. I didn't remember. I looked it up. Uh, it wasn't Scooby. It was Garfield. Yeah, he's Same in Garfield. Thing. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, continue. Sally is Sally was the. Um, Bass Pro Shop Lady. Yeah, she looked familiar too. She's in. She, she, her name is Cheryl Hines. She plays. She's in Curb Your Enthusiasm, Waitress, RV. Okay. I thought she looks like a Who from Whoville, but she is not. Does she own Hines Ketchup or not spelled the same? It's spelled the same, but I don't think so. Didn't catch that. First. I didn't think it would be spelled the same. That's why I asked it out of stupidity. Crash is played by Jimmy Simpson. The best. He's in Sunny. Date Night and Westworld. <laughs> Larry Murphy. Who's Larry, guys? I have no idea. Wasn't he the Reno 911 guy? Bingo. Oh, uh, look at you. Thomas Lennon. Reno 911. Fantastic character right there. Uh, he's in I Love You, comma, man. <laughs> and then 17 again. Now, another interesting fact is he was one of the writers for the film. Wow. He and then another writer or writers took this film to Disney and were like, we want to do a new Her- um, Herbie movie. And they were like, you know what? I like this. We're going to do it. And that's how it happened. Always for the cash grab, Disney. <laughs> Let's try to reboot it. Nobody will notice that it's terrible. Well, those are spoilers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the director is Angela Robinson. She did Professor Martin in The Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. The L Word. And then I can't tell if it's Debs or D E B S. Debs or oh, it was in caps, so it's like one of those large. Who knows? Uh, this movie won two awards. Yes, one of them what? was Lindsay Lohan won a Blimpy for the Kids Choice Awards. A Blimpy, <laughs> nice. She got slimed. <laughs> oh, nice. I know. And then it was nominated for six others. <laughs> That's a joke, right? No, it's for realsies. <laughs> You know, it probably was nominated for, like, effects and some shit. No. Best kids movie. Best soundtrack, probably. There were, like, four of them were just from the Blimpies. Are the Blimpies Nickelodeon? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Are the Blimpies Nickelodeon (laughs) the most crucial award show ever? (laughs) People get slimed, man. People get slimed. Where else do they get slimed? Well, for $6, you can buy Nickelodeon Slime. That is shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Sam, are you doing an That's ad? Awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. I had to buy it because I was like, this is awesome. It sounds like <laughs> an ad. It's not an ad. It's just fun. And I liked it. <laughs> it's probably it terrible for your hair and skin, but I don't care. <laughs> is that why you're looking green recently? Yeah. Anyways, uh, this movie got... Oh, I forgot to say, the hilarious post has got a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb. Oh. oh. Moving on. The critics gave this movie a 40%. Okay. The audience gave it a 39%. Ooh. IMDb gave it a 4.8 out of 10. Wow. Google gave it an 82%. So, Tim, mm-hmm. are we ready to discuss this flipping on on and off yeah, business? Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, Sam? Well, let's have Sam start. She She's the one who landed here. So I actually feel like I remember she wants to flip it on. This being worse as a kid <laughs> than it was this time around. Like there are certainly worse movies, and this is where I always get tripped up because I think about like your swept aways, which I've been told is not <laughs> what I should compare it to. Monster trucks. Your monster trucks. Okay, okay. 
I would say it's on par with monster trucks. And that was too long ago for me to remember if I flipped it on. I probably did. No. Mm-hmm. I didn't? No one did. Oh. I did. You did. No one did. <laughs> <laughs> no one did. You're right, Tim. No one did. Let's go back wink, wink, and revisionist nudge, history nudge, cough, here. Cough. Anyway, um, like I said, I feel like there are worse movies from it, but I'm trying to remember, like, if I were to see it on TV, that's a true test, right? And, like, mm. unless it was at a particularly funny scene, I don't think I would stop for it. That being said, I I remember it being worse than it was. It's kind of like Twilight. I remember yeah. it being worse than I was. You've seen worse. Yeah, and I've seen worse since then. <laughs> yeah. I think it's still going to be a no, though. Tim? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen any of the originals. Um, I've also but now he seen, wants to ne- never seen Cars. I have watched Fast and the Furious, uh, but that's not really How about the Need same for realm. Speed. That's like Need totally the same. I have not seen. Oh, I have seen the new Need for Speed. Yeah, totally the same. Wait, um, Need for Speed is a movie too. Yeah, they made they it with made Aaron a movie. Paul. It's not, it's not Why? Um, yeah. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> cash grab. Yeah. Go ahead. Tim. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to flip it off and because uh, it was weird to me. Um, <laughs> That's the only reason. Uh, mm-hmm. And I would say watch any of the originals probably or Cars over this. Oh, Cars and is I, fantastic. And I'm saying that because I, again, have not seen either of those. Um, but I feel like Cars would just hit that spot a little bit better. And it's a cartoon. Yeah. Um, Which makes you suspend belief a little like bit. Like Scott Owen Wilson. Yeah. Trying to entertain your kids with this movie, in my opinion, wouldn't. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. The old ones, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But I don't think this hit a mark for an audience anywhere, in my opinion. So just flip it off entirely. I like that you would blindly recommend other movies you haven't seen. That's going to tell you like where it's. Well, it's the up. Pixar <laughs> magic, man. <Yeah. laughs> He's still keeping it in the house of Di- yeah, house that's of mouse. true. You're still giving Disney their their money. Also, this was I'm going to be honest. This was on HBO Max, which was confusing because yeah. it's not on Disney Plus. Yeah, I went to Disney Plus, and Adam's like, "No, it's on HBO Max," and I'm like, "But it should also be on Disney Plus because all the other contracts, Irby's are on man, there." Contracts. They probably put it there years ago. They were like, "You know what? This is too much adult content." We don't HBO. want this on Disney Plus. <laughs> it's too mature. <laughs> But no, I'm not going to flip it on either. Um, <gasps> ka-chow, go watch, um, go watch Cars. Oh, poor Irby. No. Irby, no, I, I got. On. <laughs> you know, I got some chuckles out of this film, but not enough. I think Irby is a lovable character. They just didn't make I think, it work. I think he needs to be cartoon. Yeah. yeah. I cartoon. I can sus- better. I can suspend my belief in a cartoon for this much more. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, I kind of want to see the old ones because maybe they made him more like, I don't know, somehow better. I feel like they did. More maybe better. More better, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> Good English. I know. We do it all the time, man. Um, anyways, moving on to next week. Uh, Tim is up to bat. Let's spin Woo-hoo! this. Sam, you can spin it. Dang, this wheel looks so small. I know, it's getting down to a bit. Like, baby. There's a lot of purple on the wheel. Purple. A streaming original. Oh, Tim put that on and he gets it. Noise. 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 Cool. Noise. Cool. Noise. Cool. Noise. <laughs> this is terrible. I hate it. <laughs> Give me out of this loop. Anyways, uh, talk to you later. Cool. Bye. <laughs> Noise. <laughs>